Hello and welcome to my channel. It's Lorraine here. I'm just popping in. It's a very quick video just to show um, what I've been up to today. I am a little bit late. Um, I am taking part in um, Defemberember. Defemberember. I can't remember how to say it. Defemberember 2022. Um, and it's um, a challenge that's been organised by Barbara at 49 Dragonflies and Louise Heinzel. Um, there is a prompt list. If you go on YouTube um, and just search 49 Dragonflies or Louise Heinzel, you will find the, um, the links for the challenge. Um, it's a December daily um, and there are 25 prompts and so far I've done two and I know that we're on December the 3rd but it was my birthday yesterday so we've had a little bit of a busy time. So I'm a little behind. So first of all, I'll, show, I'll just show you the front of the cover. I haven't decorated it other than put on the fabric that I followed a tutorial um, with Louise Heinzel on and Barbara at 49 Dragonflies. They both do this. And this is dyed um, just calico fabric and it's been dyed using um, oxide ink, the ink stamps. And I love it. I love it. It's a bit grungy. It's not my usual style, but I just love it. And I've done the inside and the outside um, with the same method. So the first day's prompt was fluff and a mason jar. There are lots of freebies as well um, that they give you to start off because they are using an animal theme. And I don't usually do animal theme things, but I'm challenging myself I'm coming out of my comfort zone and I'm going along with it so the first day's prompt was fluff and mason jar and the first free bit animal was this little hedgehog here um, it comes on a card let me find just one minute sorry if I'm leaning over you but they come on cards like this um, so you can just use them like that or you can like i've done here i fussy cut around the hedgehog because i wanted him foraging along the hedgerow um so what i've done i've made this pocket using just some um design paper designer paper that i've got sorry i can't tell you where i've got it from um but i use this dsp and then i've collaged onto their fussy cut these are die cuts from tim holtz the leaves the little flowers, um, the mushrooms, I think they're from Artemis, and I think again that's Artemis, I'm, I couldn't be sure. This is the little freebie um, hedgehog. I've just stamped the word forage because that's what the hedgehog is doing, and I have um, stamped on this coffee dyed paper, and there is uh, my mason jar that I did I've done I've put two in but this is the one for the challenge this is my mason jar and this is the fluff I've used this eyelash trim wool and I've dyed it using again um, oxide inks so that it, it blends in uh, just journal space on the back so that's my mason jar so that's day one prompt and I've just put in another um, small little mason jar as well for extra um, journal in space so that's day one day two prompt is playing cards uh, or playing card and splatters so uh, and the printout for today the free bit was this giraffe and I've left it on the card all I've done is I've rounded the corners and um, distressed it around the edges I have um, stenciled this page I have this stencil and it's supposed to be um, paving stones crazy paving but I thought it looked like the giraffe um, print so I quite like it and as, I don't know if you can see on there but this splatters I've used gold paint um, splatters on there again splatters on here this is um, a giant playing card um, in there I've put two giant cards together and made a pocket inside um, and I've just put in this journal card again I've used that stencil that I, 
I love to bits and I've splashed on there again I've splattered with gold ink it's very subtle on there you can't really see it very well so on the other side this is this there's two of these giant playing cards on this side I've made this belly band and I've used small playing cards and they are pockets each one is a little pocket so there's three um, and this is a belly band behind and you can see I have splashed the gold paint on there as well to fasten this flip down I've used some calico fabric um, so I've covered it over with this giraffe print that I have in my stash and I've just made the word giraffe at the bottom of it and again I don't know if you can see it glinting but there's gold splatters on there so that is my day two um, today is um, bright colour journaling card and I haven't done that yet but I will film that when I've done it so thank you for watching and I wish you all well and happy crafting bye